Hello everyone, I welcome you in the second video of time and work. In the last video, we discussed about couple of ways or couple of type of questions that we usually get in time and work. In part two of this topic, we'll be discussing some more variety of questions and we'll scale up the level of difficulty a bit. So let us start with the first variety of question that comes from time and work in this particular video. So the question on your screen says A can do some work in 8 days and B in 10 days. Both A and B started working together and A stopped working after 2 days. The remaining work is finished by B alone. In how many days the work will be completed? Now in this question there is a situation wherein A leaves the work after working for some days. So again like in the previous video I will be discussing the same question with both the methods the one we had during the school time and the total work method for more details on total work method I would recommend you can watch my part one video of time and work so let's start solving this question it says A can do some work in eight days so I would again write the data A can do it in eight days and similarly B can complete it alone in 10 days. So B can finish the work alone in 10 days. Now the question says that both of them started working together and after 2 days A left. That means if I calculate A's 1 day work according to the unitary method it comes out as 1 upon 8 whereas B's 1 day work comes out to be 1 upon 10 which means if they work together on day 1, their 1 day work will come out to be 1 upon 8 plus 1 upon 10. Please remember, we will be solving the same question with the total work concept as well. But because both of them work for 2 days and this is their 1 day work, therefore in 2 days they will be finishing 1 by 8 plus 1 by 10 multiplied by 2. This much amount of work is done in two days. So if I solve it further and as I said kindly don't take the LCM. Write the values as it is in multiplication and in addition. So it is 8 plus 10 divided by 8 multiplied by 10. So it becomes 2 multiplied by 18 divided by 8 0 that's 80. Now when I cancel this off, I will be getting 40 over here, then it is 9 by 20. Which means the work done by them in 2 days is 9 by 20. And then suddenly A leaves and the remaining work is to be done by B alone. B's 1 day work is 1 upon 10. Let's suppose B works for D days and the work gets completed. So the amount of work which is already done that is 9 upon 20 plus D days of work by B and that is D upon 10 should be equal to the total amount that is 1. Now let's solve this value that is D upon 10 is equal to 1 minus 9 upon 20. And this gives me 20 minus 9 divided by 20 which is nothing but 11 upon 20 and on the left hand side it is D upon 10 so when I cancel this value I will be getting D is equal to 11 upon 2 that is B will take another 5.5 days to finish the work and therefore the total time taken would be 5.5 plus the 2 days of the work that both of them did together so it is 5.5 plus 2 and therefore answer of the question becomes 7.5 days. But this is a lengthy method, the unitary method that we use during our school time. Let's go with the approach of total work method. So if I assume total work as, let's say I assume 80 units. As I said in the last video also, you can assume any amount of work so if W that is total work is 80 units and A can do it in 8 days 
therefore a's one day work becomes 80 by 8 that is 10 units and similarly b's one day work becomes 80 by 10 that is 8 units and because they are working together so together they work for a day and they finish 18 units whereas they are working for two days and therefore the amount of work done is 36 units so how much work is left now it is 80 minus 36 that is we are still left with 44 units of work and who is supposed to finish this work it is B and if B can do 8 units per day to finish 44 units B will require 44 divided by 8 and this will give me 5.5 days as the answer so as you can see just in few steps we are unable to get the answer 5.5 days which upon adding with 2 gives me 7.5 as my final answer so therefore even though the question has changed the total work method still remains meaningful in such a question let's take one more variety of question wherein we'll be talking about efficiency time and work and efficiency are highly related concepts because we definitely get some questions from efficiency in time and work let's understand this question the question says a is twice as efficient as b and is thrice as efficient as c so if i have to write this equation in terms of efficiency i would write a is twice as efficient as b and is thrice as efficient as c please understand this equation is in terms of efficiency i'll explain how are we relating efficiency and time next line of the question says together they can finish the work in 24 days so in 24 days a b and c together finish the work and the question is in what time will B alone finish the work now let's understand how easy this question is the only difference over here is we will be talking about efficiency and we have two types of equations equation number one in terms of efficiency and equation number two in terms of time so what we have to do either we convert efficiency equation in terms of time or we convert time equation in terms of efficiency and I am sure with whatever time and work we have studied so far it is easy to solve a question based on time so let us convert this efficiency equation in terms of time now before that I would like to tell you that if somebody is more efficient he will definitely take less time to finish the work on the other side if somebody is less efficient he will take more time to finish the work so on a whole I can say time is almost inversely proportional to efficiency now let us understand how can we convert this efficiency equation into time let me assume that B takes B days to finish the work alone why am I assuming with respect to B because I have to find out the time taken by B alone to finish the work so if B takes B days according to the efficiency A is more efficient and hence A will take half of the time taken by B and that is B by 2 days going by the efficiency term if B takes B days a is double efficient and hence will take half of the time similarly between a and c between a and c a is more efficient and therefore a will take less time and thus c will take three times of time taken by a that is 3b by 2 days so now what I have done I have converted efficiency equation in terms of time and rest is very simple because we know time taken by a 1 upon a time taken by B 
time taken by C and this equation ends up with time taken by all of them together. So this is my primary equation of time and work. 1 upon A plus 1 upon B plus 1 upon C is equal to 1 upon total. Now let's put the values. So if I put A as B by 2, it will become 2 by B plus B remains as it is because B takes B days and C will become 3B by 2. So upon reciprocal, it becomes 2 by 3B is equal to the time taken by all of them together. That is 24 days will come in the denominator. That's 1 upon total. Now let's take the LCM. So my LCM is 3B. Over here, it becomes 6 plus 3 plus 2, which is equal to 1 by 24. 3 and 24 gets cancelled, so it is 8. Upon cross multiplication, I get 6 plus 3 plus 2, 11. 11 multiplied by 8, that is B is equal to 88 days. And that's the answer of the question. Because the question was talking about how much time will B alone take to finish the work. And it is 88 days. Now, if suppose I have to calculate for A, it will be B by 2, that is 44 days. If suppose I have to calculate for C, it is 3 times of A, that is 132. So even if it is not asked, I can still determine the time taken by A, B and C respectively. So this is another variety of question that comes from time and work, where efficiency is part of the question. I hope everyone has understood. We will be going through a series of videos on the complete concept of time and work. This is the second video. You can watch the first part of the video as well so that you can understand the complete concept. I hope everyone has understood every part of it. For more videos and for notifications on new videos, you can subscribe to our channel that is Swanit Education. And don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you can get timely notifications. We'll come again with another part of time and work. Till then, goodbye.